What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Python and Pandas tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be doing is standard deviation uh, along with, since I was just showing you guys how to apply it and we did come across an example where we needed multiple uh, subplots where we were plotting say open, high, low, close and volume where those two things are kind of a different scale, volume versus the price. Um, it could be useful to plot on another pane or another window in matplotlib this is called a subplot. So I'm going to show you guys that, and then also we're going to do standard deviation, which is another um, pandas kind of built-in uh, thing. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So we're not going to use Axes 3D anymore, so I'm just going to delete that. And we'll come down here and delete all this stuff here. And that should be good. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is, what we can do is we can say df, and then for a standard deviation, we'll call it std and uh, we're going to say std equals pd.rolling underscore std and then we're going to say uh, the first parameter that we put in here is what are we performing this on we're going to perform this on the closing price then the next parameter is uh, how large of a rolling std are we going to do and so we're going to say 25 and then finally we have this min periods and we're going to say that equals uh, one. So the next question somebody might ask is can we apply this minimum periods to the moving average? Well let's see. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste that in there. This way we don't have to sacrifice the first 100 values it'll still show uh, the moving average uh, for those values so we'll let that go. And now STD there and that should be it. So first of all, let's just see. Uh, so let's go ahead and print df.head. We'll save and run it. And we come over here. And wouldn't you know it, still gives us 100 moving average. Now it's actually quite good because what it's going to do for us is instead of you know taking you know three values, adding them together, and dividing by 100, it takes the three values since they're less than um, less than the 100. It will just do that many. Right, so in this case we would say three, right, or even one. It still does the average, right, which is not an average at all. But anyway, uh, moving right along. Uh, so we have the standard deviation uh, was done for us. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll come down here and say we want to plot on multiple axes. Well, the way we can do this with matplotlib is we just specify the axes. So we're going to say ax1 equals plt dot subplot. Basically what we do with matplotlib is as soon as you notify it about a plot, it's going to plot on that new plot that you just notified it about. So this is how we can not only use uh, pandas kind of intuitive plotting, but also use some of the customization of matplotlib. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So we're going to say ax1 equals uh, plot to subplot. And we're going to say it's a 2 by 1 by 1. And then we'll come down here and then we'll just say df. Uh, close dot plot. Now normally after doing ax1 you would actually say ax1 dot plot and then we would say df close like this if we were just doing regular matplotlib stuff but we're going to do dot plot instead so we can use oops and we'll use our uh, parameters there. But we're going to do dot plot instead so we can use pandas intuitive plotting. And then what we can do though is we can then specify ax2 and we're gonna say ax2 equals plt dot subplot. Again, it's a two by one by, uh, or it's a two by one, and this will be plot number two. And then this one we're gonna say df um, std dot plot, and then plt dot show. So now we can plot this all up. Maybe I don't see my there it is. Okay, so we'll wait for it. And here we go. We have our standard deviation down here, and then we have our actual um, plot up here. Now, a couple things. One, uh, we did not have, um, of course I just closed it. Um, let's show two, two of the things that were wrong here. One, we just have the index number down here. It's just a number. And then two, uh, the axes aren't tied to each other. So if we zoom in on one, it doesn't zoom in on the other one. So there's a couple of things that we need to change. So first of all, on the definition of AX2, we're going to say share X equals AX1. So it's going to share the axes with this one. And then also, 
where we have the definition of right here for parse dates. We're going to say index underscore call equals D-A-T-E, capital D, don't forget it, date. Now, um, when we go to do this, we got rid of that for the 3D plotting, but now when we go to plot it, we get uh, dates there. Thank you, intuitive pandas. You're too kind. So now we actually have them, and then also when we zoom in to any specific spot, it zooms in on both charts so we can see uh, the numbers um, lined up. Okay, so now we've got standard deviation, and then we've got the actual plotting, and then also multiple um, you know, subplots. And then now I can show you guys what, it, what this headspace and all this stuff does. So width space, uh, we don't have any width, so um, that's not really going to do anything. But headspace, that will do stuff. So we can close up the difference, make it huge or whatever, you know. So uh, anyway, so that's going to include this video. Just wanted to show you guys standard deviation as well as plotting multiple plots um, while still using uh, the intuitive plotting of pandas. So if anybody has uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.